Hi, hi, YouTube friends. It's April. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today, I'd like to share my September 2010 beauty favorites. Justin is just going to be in the video, um, in the end of the video. I know a lot of you friends have been asking for him. Um, I tend to get um, so many requests for Justin, and he loves being part of my favorites. But at the moment, he's at a soccer game right now. He likes to play soccer um, on the weekends for fun. And so um, when he returns from his game, um, he'll be part of the video. So while he's not here, I'm going to go ahead and share with you friends my favorites for the month and in the end of the video, I've got a very special um, surprise for you. So let's just go ahead and start. Um, I purchased my e.l.f. powder brush a long time ago. It was It's part of the studio line. It's $3 and it is seriously the best $3 I've ever spent ever and this is something that I use every day so three dollars on a makeup brush is insanity it is the softest brush I've ever used a lot of people um, I've seen on YouTube have mentioned that they use it for like an all over the face like flat top type of kabuki brush but I actually use this for blush um, I just like apply a bit of blush on the tip and then I um, rub on the apples of my cheeks and it feels so soft. It's the best brush ever. And um, once e.l.f. has a sale, I'm going to definitely get more of these because I like waiting for sales. Because um, I've noticed e.l.f. Cosmetics, um, they really have expensive shipping costs. So I always wait for a sale and then buy like a bunch of stuff. So this is definitely a buy, friends. This is just a must. It's so soft. Love it. Um, next, I still love my Smashbox High Definition Concealer. And I gotta say, I've been breaking out this month, and I'll tell you why soon. Um, I've just, my skin has just been, um, so terrible. And, um, if I come up close, can you see that pimple right here? And then I'm hiding one with my hair. I've got one here, and then I've got one here. I've got them everywhere on my face. <laughs> pretty much and this little this little guy is really helping me out the Smashbox high definition concealer I use with a brush or I just dab with my finger and it works magic it conceals my pimples and I just love it and I think this product so much for hiding my imperfections and my blemishes so I love that and many years ago I purchased this Pedig and I was a skeptic I didn't think it worked so I just had it in my drawer for probably a year and never used it and then um, after I tried using lotion because I thought I had to put lotion before I um, started you know rubbing but um, you just pretty much apply it onto your foot and start scrubbing at the calluses or anything that you have and I kind of I don't want to show you guys my feet because that's like really weird but if you hear that sound I'm actually using it right now I'm filing <laughs> and look I saved you guys look at that do you see all that gunk I know this is disgusting I know it is but you know we have crusty feet like it's the truth we you know and I think everyone does I mean if you don't pamper your feet or if you wear flip-flops your feet tend to dry they tend to get all crusty and this really really helps so I got the pink one um, um, it's sold at many drugstores. It used to be an as seen on TV product, but it's everywhere now. It's at the drugstores. It's at your supermarket. Um, I actually saw it on Amazon for $3 or, or even eBay. You can find it. So this is an amazing product and it really works. And if you saw that gunk inside, let me show you guys again. That's from my foot, just from filing. Yeah. <laughs> so this really works and I think you guys should get it. Um, just because it really, 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 really works and it will leave your feet so soft. And after I do that, I put some lotion on my feet and put socks on top and then wait 30 minutes, remove it and my feet feel so soft like a baby. It feels so soft. I love it. And then um, I've been loving wearing false lashes. I honestly don't wear it on an everyday basis. I only wear it like for special occasions and such. And also for when I'm on YouTube because you know, um, camera kind of like washes out everything and my lashes look so dull without it. So in the majority of my newer YouTube videos, I am wearing false lashes. And this company called Model 21 sent me um, some lashes and I actually have some for you guys too to give away. They sent me the style um, number 45. 
which looks like this. They sent me the style number 17, which I have worn before and love, and as well as number 19, which I am currently wearing. I hope you friends can see. Yep, so I'm currently wearing the number 19 lashes, and of all the style lashes that I received, number 19 is my favorite. It makes it look really long, but not like ridiculously out of control um, noticeable. And I just used my Duo Dark Lash. It's actually falling off because I've had it on for hours upon hours. Um, yeah, so I have it. Um, I use the Duo Dark Tone um, Lash Glue and it's waterproof and it works perfectly. And these guys um, come in a 10 pack for $6.95. And um, that's just insanity, the price. And I actually saw a model, um, a model lash called, I think it's number 12. It's when these lashes are shorter and then it gets longer at the ends. Those are gorgeous and I'm going to order that myself and that's not going to be like a, anything that was sent to me. I'm ordering those like myself because they're gorgeous. And since I was able to try these, I'm going to just give you guys a variety of the styles that I own and put it in just one box. And um, I've got to say, um, remember last month when I mentioned that I was testing out the Eden and Lure Organic Moroccan Argan Oil? Anyhow, I've been using it on my face as well as my hair for more than a month now. And i got to say, um, it broke my skin out, like my face. That's why I have so many pimples. It's because of this. And I'm so extremely unhappy with um, the outcome of my skin by using this product. Um, it may have just messed up my skin, made me break out. But as far as my hair, I think it's so healthy and shiny. And I, I, love, I love it for my hair, but I dislike it. I just absolutely would never again put and it on my skin. I really will continue using it for my hair, but not my skin. Not my and skin at all. And then I've been loving the Orly Nail Polish, and it's called, it's in the shade Beautifully Blush. I actually have it on right now, but I'm so sorry. It's been on for, for a whole week now, so it's all chipped and kind of nasty, but I hope you can see it. I'll actually leave the camera, I'll actually leave it here for it to focus. Alright, it's focusing, so it's Beautifully blush. Yeah, I like it. It's like a pale pink, and that's my favorite nail polish color. To me, that's my neutral. I just wear a pale pink, and I think it goes with everything. And, um, Orly nail polishes are sheer, or all the nail polishes that I have tried tend to be sheer. So it took me about four coats of these to, for it to look like this. So that's that and I got this nail polish a year ago and I just started loving it so I guess it took me some time to fall in love with it. And my friend Grace, she is the sweetest person in the whole wide world. She is from Singapore. I met her through YouTube. She is a beautiful beauty guru. Anyhow, she and I have been exchanging packages back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And she sent me another one. And it was just a surprise because I thought that was it for our exchange, you know. And she sent me just this bag of or not box, I mean not bag, she sent me a box and it had so many amazing Asian cosmetics and I love the fact that she sends me those types because I don't, I can't find it anywhere here and she sent me this lip gloss called Can Make Nudie Glow and I am just head over heels in love with this product. I actually have to swatch it for you because I love it so much and it's in, um, I don't know how to read the language in the bottom, but it just says, can make nudie glow. And this is the shade. You see it? Very pretty. And I have it on my lips right now. It's just like, you know, a nudie pink color. And the applicator is a brush. Like a brush tip. Instead of like the foamy ones that I have tried before. So looks like this. I hope you friends can see. So that's that. I love it so much, Grace, and I thank you so much. And friends, I actually have a blog post of all the wonderful goodies that she sent me, so check it out. I have it down here below. And also, Santa Cosmetics, they are so sweet. They send me um, their like newest collection of cosmetics, and um, I've actually got a giveaway for you guys very soon. They sent me this lip gloss called 
Moonstone. It's their lip liqueur and it's an extremely thick formulation. Many people have stated that they didn't like it, but personally, I like it if I'm not kissing Justin because if I do kiss Justin, it's really sticky. But if I go to work with it on, it stays on till lunchtime because it's so sticky and it's thick and that um, that means it'll last longer, so I love it. Unless I give the little toddlers kisses on their cheeks, it sticks onto their little cheeks and I have to like really rub onto it. But it's such a beautiful color, and I love mixing this with like a nude lipstick. It just applies on so perfectly with it. And look at that, I hope you friends can see, it is this color right here and it smells really good and I want to show you how thick it is I hope you friends can see did you see how like it came out and how extremely thick it is look at that it's like sticky and thick um, not the best lip gloss if you're going on you know a date with your love but <laughs> it's something that will last for a very long time which is ideal if you want it on for a long time. And um, I purchased this Rockin' Republic blush in the shade Tease many, 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 many months ago. And it's an everyday blush that I wear. And I just love the shade. It's so wearable. And I have it on right now. I really love it. And um, I only buy this from this website called Outlook. Um, they have sales. And every time they have a sale, I will always go back for it but the thing is that I never know when it's going to be on sale so I check every day and then this company called Scottish Fine Soaps they sent I guess um, I do a lot of reviews on soap so company soap companies tend to message me a lot and uh, it's so hard to say no and so I gave this company a, a try and I tried a variety of scents. I tried their Poetica scent. I tried various soaps from them and the one that I love my personally and I really like that I use almost every single day when I go to work is the Olay line. It looks like this. It's just a simple, simple packaging, just black and white, and it says Olay, and there's a cow, and it's made of nourishing milk and creamy cocoa butter, and it's extremely moisturizing. This is the hand and nail cream, and this is the body butter, and I bring both to work. They smell so amazing. They, um, it says that it's supposed to smell like something of milk, but I don't really smell that. It smells more of like baby lotion that's meant for adults because it's stronger the scent and it smells amazing and it leaves my skin incredibly soft and as you can tell um, I've used a lot of the product up because it was really plump so I really do love it. I've also been loving my MAC lipstick in cream cup this is actually my third one and I'm almost out of it as you can see and it's just a beautiful pink color that's for every day I I think so. Well, I wear it almost every day, and it looks like this. I hope you can see. And then, um, when Justin and I went to Palm Springs, I got to go to an Ulta, and I got this um, Stila Trend Setting in Tokyo Travel Palette. It's so cute, and I gotta say, I am in love with the cream blush and it's actually my first time using a cream blush and I've fallen in love. I like cream blushes now and I also like this eyeshadow. As far as the the cobalt blue or some type of bright blue color, it's called Shibuya. I'm not a fan of. I, I haven't used it yet, that's why. And then um, this one is called Kawaii and then this blush is called Sakura. But I only like Saki and Sakura. <laughs> And I love it. It's it's a beautiful palette. And like you can just put this in your purse and it's so small. And then um, probably two weeks ago, I was sick with the flu. And I had nothing to do. And I was at home. And so I was flipping channels and I saw the QVC channel. And I've never purchased anything in my whole entire life from the QVC channel. And I've never had the urge to, even though like you know they really sell you on things and one day <laughs> I was sold when I had the flu I was watching a makeup artist called Mally and she has her own makeup collection line 
and I was convinced that her collection looked amazing so I went and bought the 8 piece collection it was for $74.95 um, with shipping and the shipping from QVC took about oh, longer than a week but it was worth the wait because I'm in love with my little Mally 8 piece kit let me actually show you what's inside the 8 piece kit Okay, so it's going to look messy because I've been using it and playing around with it, but it looks like this. Look how cute that is. Do you see it? It comes with like concealer and lip gloss and eyeshadow and mascara. I don't want to get into it too much because I want to do a separate review because I've fallen in love with it. And I just, I've never really felt the urge to buy anything at, anything at QVC, but I, I did, and I'm really happy I did. And I think this product is well worth it for 74 bucks for an eight-piece kit with a, con with a like, cute little makeup container like this. Totally worth it. And the mascara alone, the volumizing, the Mally volumizing mascara alone is $28. And I just gotta say, this is love. This really volumizes the lashes. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do a separate video soon. So please, please, please look out for that. Because I haven't seen a lot of um, reviews on Mally Cosmetics. Maybe it's because it's new and it just was released from the QVC channel. But it's definitely worth your while. And it comes in a cute little pink container. <laughs> and then... Um, I'm going to go ahead and wait for Justin to share um, my other favorites, but I, I will mention it. It's um, Urban Decay products, and Justin actually bought them for me, and I don't know. I just got to say, he's just the sweetest man ever, and you guys will see. So um, I'll come back very soon, and Justin will be here. It'll be like magic, even though I'm going to wait a couple hours. It'll be magic for you guys. <laughs> Hi, YouTube friends. I'm back with Justin after two hours of napping, and his, he's back from his soccer game. Um, okay, so uh, I want to mention a couple of items that are brand new that I've never ever used, but it's my favorite because it's the thought that counts. And Justin will go ahead and explain. Okay, so for the last how how many weeks, honey? I don't know. Maybe for the last a month. For, the, for the last month, April has been talking about wanting the Naked Pan Palette from Urban Decay, mm -hmm. and she was looking around everywhere and she couldn't find it, and she was really sad. If you were gonna pay. A, 80 bucks on eBay or something, right? Yeah, there are people on eBay trying to make money off the fact that the Urban Decay palette is sold out. And they're selling it for twice as much, for like 80 bucks. <laughs> so I, I told her, don't do that, don't do that. And so behind the scenes, <laughs> I was trying to find the palette for her. And every single place I called around, Sephora nearby was sold out. So uh, I had to go to the extreme, and I had to find a, a way to do it. So I had a business trip to Boston a couple weeks ago, or yep. la last week, last actually, week. just a couple days ago. And uh, I found a place in the Boston airport that had, uh, it wasn't a Sephora, it was like a one of those uh, duty-free shops. And they had a whole makeup section, and they had an Urban Decay thing. So I found that. And uh, so let's see, I got her... First thing I got her was the, uh, what's this thing called again? It's a triple X shine sash. Triple X shine sash, so it's lip gloss, right? Mm -hmm. So I got this this thing. And then uh, because they, they unfortunately didn't have the naked palette, but I found that they had the individual eyeshadows in, <laughs> uh, in it. So I, I looked up on my phone what colors are in the naked palette, and I got her four colors that were in the Naked Palette. So number one was Smog, which is this one. Next one was Naked, this one. The next one is Toasted, right there. And the last one is Baked. I think there was one more, but I don't know where it is. Charlie may have like done something. Charlie may it. have stolen it. My cat Charlie, he loves to just grab stuff from my makeup desk and just kick it he just does this <laughs> he kicks it or he paws at it and it's his toy so I don't know where it is <laughs> yeah anyways I so I I came home and I came home and I surprised her and uh, she started crying because she thought it was so thoughtful. that was thoughtful to, <laughs> to be a man and to look up the the colors <laughs> Like the eyeshadow color, <laughs> the name of it in a palette, and to look for the shade, and to get like the full size ones. That's just, 
You know that what? That was so you know sweet. What? You know. You know what? Making my woman happy is the manliest possible thing. Right? Thank you, sweetie. You're so sweet. <laughs> Anyhow, if you're still watching this, that must mean you really do subscribe and really like me. <laughs> well, at least I think so, um, because you wouldn't be watching a 15-minute YouTube video about a girl talking about makeup if you didn't like her. And because you do, and you're still around, I thank you so much. And I've got something for my subscriber friends and it's a bag it's this Victoria's Secret bag that I um, that I got for free if I spent $60 at Victoria's Secret you've seen it before I really like it but it's so big I don't know what to do with it so I'm giving it to you friends um, this is gonna be a pretty big giveaway and there will only be one winner I apologize but I'm gonna have many of these so inside one of you lucky winners will get um, model 21 lashes with a variety of the style 45, 17, as well as 19. You'll also get the Zoya Wicked Nail Polish Collection. And there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 lashes and the, I mean 6 nail polishes. And these are formaldehyde free. So I love Zoya nail polishes for that. And then on Oat Look, I purchased this a while ago. Meaning, um, and I meant for it to... Be for you friends, it's the Lorac, um, like, small palette, and it comes in this really cute pink, um, container. So, that's that. You're also going to get the Defabulous Mini Hair Twister. It looks like this, and alone, this is nearly $100, so this is amazing. And this was sent to me from the company. They sent me, um, many of these, and I want to give you friends one. And I also purchased on Oat Look a while ago Urban Decay lip glosses and I wanted to give you friends one of them and this is in the shade O. Check out my blog for pictures if I'm going way too fast. And then when I shopped at MAC I bought this a while ago. It's the Lazy Day lipstick. It's brand new. It's this gorgeous pink color and I just want one of you friends to own one too since I love this shade so much and it was talked about back in the summer and I kept it to give away and then um, you're also going to get a twist and pout keychain lip gloss it's so cute it like it's a keychain and it's also a lip gloss it's brand new and the lip gloss smells so good and it's extremely moisturizing it has like this citrus scent and it's so cute it like really jazzes up a purse if you put it like on your purse and then Scottish Fine Soap sent me this gorgeous ballet soap. It looks like this, and I want to give it to you, friends. I'm also giving you a fingers brush on nail glue if you like using false nails. And to pair that up, I'm giving you, friends, some fingers edge hardcore nail attic false nails. And Olay extra large milk soap in my favorite scent, the Olay <laughs> scent. And it's humongous. This is going to last you forever. Look at how huge this soap is. And it smells so good. You friends are going to love this. I'm show how big this. it is com in comparison to my head. <laughs> sure. Look at it. That's almost a quarter of my head. So that's pretty big. Yeah. I have a big head already. Yeah, so that's pretty he, big. Yeah, he's got a big old <laughs> head. Noggin. <laughs> Noggin. A lot of milk. <laughs> yep. And, um... I have so many beauty diary masks, I want you friends to have some. You're also going to get Japanese false eyelashes. The Castle Dew 4 color color from AsianFashionCity.com. I bought this um, NYX gloss, I have about 5 of them and I want you friends to enjoy it as well. It's the NYX gloss in the shade, I forgot the shade and I use it all the time. It's the shade Mauve. You're also going to get the Bath and Body Works Dark Kiss Body Lotion. Um, it was brand new a while ago and they were selling it for a dollar so I bought about three or four of these. Also, a Sheer Cover Extra Length Mascara. I buy like the package of Sheer Cover and I always get the mascara and I have like about four of them so I thought you friends could like enjoy one. You're also going to get a Senna uh, Cosmetics Mineral Eyes Shadow Trio. Like that. And what's it? What's the shade the called? The shade, I don't know. You could do it. The shade is called Cloud Nine. Cloud Nine. Mm -hmm. You're also going to get my favorite 
thing in the whole wide world. It's the Candy Pen Eyeliner by VOV. And I've shown it to you, friends, in many of my videos. And it looks like this. It's brand new. And it looks like this. And this was given to me from Asian Fashion City. And they sent me about um, more than three to give away. And I'm giving you guys one. And I'll have giveaways again in the future. And last but not least, you'll be getting two Castle Dew eyeshadows. They look like this. They're the Pearl Me Up Eyes by Castle Dew Shadow. So that's that. And to enter this giveaway, all you have to do is be a subscriber of my channel, a follower of my blog, and additional um, entries is you can tweet about this giveaway. You can um, add this to your favorites as far as your YouTube videos. You can um, blog about it and you can um, put my contest giveaway on your sidebar and all the information will be in my blog. I thank you friends so much and you guys are my September favorites. Have a beautiful day. Bye. Bye guys.